Hey guys, what's up? It's Alicia, welcome back to my channel. So as you guys can tell by the title of today's video, I did something that, I don't know, I, I never thought, I never thought I would find myself coming on YouTube and sharing, but um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I have, quit my job okay i quit my job i cannot believe i'm saying that out loud it actually like it just hit me recently even though i put in notice for my job probably like beginning of december um so i've known about it since like beginning of december but it's like just now hitting me and we're like almost through january <laughs> um but yeah i quit my job and i feel like i just i don't know i feel like i don't even know what to say because this is still all so new but yeah i quit my job and i quit my job and i am now a full-time entrepreneur i am officially a full-time influencer content creator all the things and i am feeling so many emotions you guys like i feel so many emotions first things first i am so beyond grateful for the opportunity to even quit my job and to be able to, you know, work full time on my own as my as a business owner like that in itself is crazy, but I'm very grateful for my community here on YouTube, over on Instagram, even my slowly growing community over on TikTok like I am so grateful because I feel like, of course, if it wasn't for the community that we have built on these different platforms and just being able to create content and just being able to just do like something I am so passionate about and like engaging with you guys and creating content for you guys and just honestly talking to you guys, everything else would not be possible. So me being able to quit my job would not be possible. Like none of that would be possible. So I am so beyond grateful for you guys. It still feels so weird to me because I think I've done a couple of different Q and A's where I would get asked if I ever see myself, you know, being a full-time content creator and like quitting my job. I think I would always say like, oh, you know, like, I don't really see that happening for myself. Like, you know, I just, I see myself balancing both and stuff like that. I never said I never would, but I think I've always said, I don't see that for myself. Like I don't see myself ever quitting. I see myself Myself continuing to do both and things like that and if we're gonna be fully transparent I have actually been feeling called to quit my job for a long time now um, probably for about a year and a half I have been feeling like that push from God to like just jump like just jump just do it just quit your job and honestly I have been scared I have been scared for a while and I, I think I was just like trying to avoid it at all costs. Y'all, like, I, like, I feel like every single day I would hear God like saying, do it, Alicia, just do it. Like, just jump, like, trust me, just jump. And I feel like I was so scared. I think it's because like, especially as a millennial, like I grew up in probably the last generation where we were taught to like, go to school, go to college, get a degree, and just like doing what you, you know, what you got a degree in and, you know, like having a steady job. Um, insurance, um, stability, all this kind of stuff. And I feel like it was so ingrained in me. Like I kid you not, I feel like it was so ingrained in me to where the idea of like pivoting and not doing that, it literally scared me. Like it legit scared me y'all. So like every single day I would just feel this push from God to like, just do it, just do it. And like, I was so scared. Like I literally was so scared. And it's like the longer time went on, the stronger the calling I feel like would be, the, the harder the push would be. And it's like every day I just found myself like wondering what life would be like if I just listened to God and obeyed and like quit my job. And so this went on for about a year and a half or so. And I feel like the longer I waited, the heavier my heart felt. It's like the heavier my heart felt and like the more clouded my mental was getting because here I am, I am working this job, this nine to five job, which is a great job, don't get me wrong, it was a great job. I worked in sales, um, specifically in like the biosciences industry, so it was a great job, but it's like I was working this job, but I just had no passion for it. Like, there was zero amount of passion. I would go to trainings, I would go to conferences and stuff like that for my job, and I just felt zero 
level of passion zero desire to be there i did not I, I, I just stopped caring i was doing the work but like mentally i was just checked out so like imagine just like showing up to this job every single day that you just really do not care about it's paying the bill well it's paying the, it's paying the bills and you know you're here to get this check and it's stable and you're you know your insurance is covered and stuff like that so all of like those boxes are checked but mentally you are so checked out and because I was in that position, I found myself like, it was just like, I just felt heavy, like all the time. Because I had this job that I just did not care about, but then I had this whole business on the side that I, I find myself being so excited about y'all. Like I love creating content, I love, I just, I love it. I love, love, love it. And I found myself being so immersed in that and just wanting to create. And wanting to have a clear mind so I can create and wanting to just be able to work with these amazing brands like I had already been doing but on a greater scale but it was like the job my nine, my nine to five job was just holding me back to some extent because like it was weighing so heavy on me like it was literally weighing on me and then towards the end of last year I was just like you know what Alicia like what's the worst that can happen like what is the worst that can happen by you just listening to what God is calling you to do and just jumping. Like you have this business, it's been thriving for years. You have proven to yourself that you can do this. You have this, you know, income coming in. It's not going anywhere. And I trust God that it will not go anywhere. Um, and like God is calling you to do this. So like, why not just jump and just see what is going to happen? The, the, the worst that can happen is that you find out that it may not be for you and you get a job. Like, that's the worst that can happen. You have to pivot again and get another job. Like, if that's the worst that can happen, I think I'm willing to take that risk. It's so funny because I remember exactly how I felt whenever I put in my notice. I had so much anxiety, y'all. I remember I like almost had a panic attack before I got on Zoom with my boss because again, like I had built up so much fear that like the idea of quitting it was just like this is so crazy like this is so scary i don't know anybody like like in person that is a like that is not working like a nine to five besides my dad who is a pastor outside of my dad i don't know anybody that has like ever like been an entrepreneur so it's just like the idea that i'm doing something different it's just, it's just, I don't know, it was getting to me, right? It was getting to me and I was so scared because like, okay, Alicia, once you, once you tell your boss, like it's official, official, like there's no turning back, right? There's no turning back. You are officially like going to be jobless <laughs> um, at the end of the year. And so I remember sitting in the chair and I was so, so, so nervous. Like I was like having a panic attack, sweating everything. And then I got on Zoom with my boss and I told her and like the minute I like said, like I'm gonna be putting in my two weeks notice, it was like the biggest weight was lifted and her response was very like it was very good she understood where i was coming from um she because i had already told her like earlier in advance that like i wasn't really passionate about sales anymore so i i believe she kind of already felt like i was going to make a switch in some way or another soon so whenever i told her i was going to be quitting um she was not surprised or she wasn't caught off guard at all she was really understanding um and she just wished the best for me and honestly just hearing that and honestly just that weight lifting off of me was was exactly what i need like that was what i needed it's just to lift that weight that had been weighing on me for so long off and yeah so i told her um, I had three weeks left of my job and then I was officially done the last business day of the year, which was December 30th of 2022. And um, <laughs> since then, it has felt really good. Like I, I have had very to little like nervous feeling. I would say the only part that I was a little bit nervous about was just like the insurance part. That's the part that everybody always asks about is like, okay, what are you gonna do about insurance? And so that was probably the only part that I was a little bit nervous about was just shopping for insurance, figuring out what makes the most sense. And I'm not sure about you guys, but I look for like the best insurance possible. And I'd rather be safe than sorry. So I'm always looking for like the best insurance plans and things like that. And I was like, how much is it gonna cost me? <laughs> how much is it gonna cost me so i was looking at insurance finally found a plan that i liked that i felt was reasonable that provided the benefits that i wanted and wasn't super crazy expensive 
Um, so I did all that insurance shopping, like figured that out. And honestly, once I secured that and like paid for it and everything, I felt like, okay, like, what was I so nervous about? Like, what was I so nervous about? I feel like I'm in a really good place. I'm able to pay for insurance. I'm able to pay for my, you know, my monthly, like, necessities. If something ever happens, I have a really good cushion say for me and Valerie. So I felt like if I have all of these things aligned, you know, I'm still able to invest in my investments and stuff like that. I'm still able to put money aside for both myself and my daughter. Like if I'm able to do all of these different things out of pocket, I just felt like it was time to just see what happens if I fully commit to chasing my dream. Because I feel like before now, I was like maybe 70% there or like 80% there, but I was never 100% because I always had to balance. I always had to balance this nine to five and my, you know, my influencing business. And like I said, I got to a point where business was really, really, really good. It still is really, really, really good. But I was just feeling so like weighed down by this job where I was not able to fully commit to my business. And I, I wanna see what that looks like. Now that we got the insurance part out of the way, um, I feel great. I feel excited. I feel so happy. I cannot believe this is my life now to where it's literally just me. Like it's me, I'm my boss. I am my own boss and it feels so good. I'm so grateful, I'm so happy. And I am just trusting that with my hard work and trusting God that he will lead me and guide me, continue to open up new doors like he has over the years. I will be in a great position. Um, I don't doubt it at all. I think that we are going to go very far. I genuinely, I feel it in my spirit that we are going to go so incredibly far that like I haven't even hit the tip of the iceberg. Like I'm so excited. So yeah, that is what I have been up to over the past like month and a half or so. Um, just adjusting to just, you know, quitting my job and honestly just figuring out a new routine, a schedule that works for me. So that way I can be the most productive um, that I can possibly be, but also the most present mom that I can possibly be. And just continue to crank out consistent content. That is my goal, especially with YouTube, is to be as consistent as I possibly can. So that's one of my goals, but ultimately just creating content and working with amazing brands and just continuing to take this brand even higher. And of course, I'm so excited to take you guys along on this journey. You guys have seen so much of my life kind of happen, the ups and the downs over the years. And so this is another chapter that is starting that we are gonna embrace and just go full force with. So new chapter, new beginning. I'm so excited. And again, I just thank you guys so, so much for sticking around and just being here. I quit my job, I cannot believe it. Like this is like real life. Never thought I was going to, but here we are and I'm just excited. So, so, so excited. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and are as excited as I am. If you guys are, definitely go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. And if you guys have not already, make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I have tons of videos coming your way that you guys do not want to miss. So go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And as always, I love you guys. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. And I will talk to you in the next video. Bye guys.